Hey guys, this is Ron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So, I was about to say that this was gonna be like the first proper video of the channel for the year, but that's not true either because I drew this last year and this is the Christmas gift that I gave to my best friend. It features our original characters, but it's her original characters, but um, I sort of played the counterpart, so... Um, <laughs> It's our original characters, I guess. They're, they're shared. <laughs> a lot of the personality for one of them was mostly developed by me, I guess. I guess you can say that. But I can't say that this is the first proper drawing of the year because it's not. I haven't really drawn anything for 2019 yet at all. I've done like some sketches here and there, some, some thumbnailing. Um, I've been drawing my OCs a little bit more recently. I, I sort of neglected them a little, a little bit last year. And I might put something out soon. I will put something out soon. I am I have a couple of ideas that I want to play around with. And yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say that this is the first video of the year that isn't me catching up from last year. Because like the Floracy's videos were trying to catch up from my failures from last year. This is the first one that's a standalone chill video, I think. Right. So this video is a bit longer. I mean, it's starting to become my normal that I have videos that would extend to 18 minutes. I tried to keep it at 18. I, I don't want to make it go to 20 unless it's like a tour or something. Um, the reason for this is because I include, as you saw earlier, maybe a lot of the sketching portions. Uh, the thumbnailing process and I feel like it because the thumbnailing process became really important to me um, especially when I started okay how do I put this into context uh, so I went to art school I guess but not traditional art I did it for graphic design but of course there were classes that still had the traditional fine arts so you had um, sketching, you had pencil, painting, oils, watercolors, acrylics. I still had classes that dealt with those. Uh, so one of the important skills that was taught to me in that um, course was that thumbnailing is really important. You need to get your sketches and ideas out first before you commit to something. So this is important in design, especially with logos. This is super duper important. And it also became important for my drawing process. And I now rarely draw without any thumbnailing at first. I feel like my drawings do a lot better when I do thumbnail at first. And I actually do recommend it for people. I might make, I might make a completely separate video for that. There are probably a lot of videos on YouTube regarding thumbnailing. But I don't know. I just felt like I want to talk about it. So I've been including the thumbnail process a lot more in my videos nowadays since it's an important process for me. I also include the sketching portion sometimes, especially with this particular piece. The line art doesn't come until very much later. Um, this is one of the more... It's, it's those type of pieces that don't rely on the line art as much. Uh, so I do include the sketching, the sketching phase a little bit more. And also the reason why it's a lot longer is because I no longer speed up my clips in Premiere. So I use frame lapse on Android, which is just I use my phone to record. It's an app you can get for free on the Google Play Store. It's a really good app, I really like it. Um, there are ads for the pro version, but other than that, it's a really, really good app. It speeds up really, really well. The quality is really nice and I like it. I like this app. And I had my clips usually set to record at 3 times speed, I think. I'm not really sure anymore. I keep it at the highest setting. But in my older videos, I would import into Premiere. I would add another 150 to 200% speed up. But then I realized looking back at my older videos, it might be a little bit too fast. And it seemed a little bit dizzying to watch. It's not as enjoyable to watch. So I decided to keep it 
at the recorded speed instead, and I've been choosing to cut out clips instead. So in the past, I would argue that I would rather show the entire process than clip than cut out clips. But nowadays, I feel like it's more entertaining to watch than I mean, it's more entertaining to watch a slower, more cut out version than watching the entire. Um, grueling process. I mean, you sort of get the idea anyway, so yeah. I see a lot of art YouTubers doing the really, really slowed down version, which is at their natural speed, I think, so they don't speed up their clips, and they just choose to show sections of the process instead. But because my channel is still mainly a speed paint over a talking um, discussion channel, I felt like this is more appropriate for me. Who knows, maybe if I think of interesting topics, I might go down that route, but I like this current setup. But yeah, I'll have your... I know I've asked this for the, like, the last two videos, and this is gonna be the third time I ask it, but how have, how have your New Year's been? I hope everything's been fine. It is currently January 18. Yeah, so we are already halfway through the month. I hope you've been doing well. Unfortunately, I got so I took a two week vacation leave for Christmas. It extended a little bit into the new year. I went back to work for two days and unfortunately, I caught the mumps. Now, usually, the mumps is caught by little kids because they, they're the ones who get infected with that easily. It just so happens that I either had a really strong vaccine, I Another fact is I don't really leave the house a lot, even when I was a kid. And by the time I was going out a lot, everyone has already caught it by then, so I didn't catch it. But in the two days that I went to work, I caught the mumps somewhere. So I, I spent another two weeks here at home, confined. I thought at first it was like some kind of lockjaw, and then the right side of my face started swelling somewhere near the jaw and then it like really it got really swollen up um and it was mostly water there was a hard part here which i guess is the muscle or the lip node itself swelling up but that took a while <laughs> it took me i guess like 10 plus days before it started before, before it went back to normal and from what i know or from what i've been told i should be Maybe like at least a day, but preferably two two days before I leave the house so that like, I don't infect kids and people. And that's to fully make sure that it's completely gone. And if I don't get any kind of slight fever from this, I should be fine. <laughs> I should be able to go back to work next Monday. <laughs> but I ended up having something like a four-week vacation leave. Which is not really a vacation leave because I was still working from home which is allowed in my company, but I only saw people for two days and then disappeared again. <laughs> which sucks! <laughs> so it happened that I went out on Thursday and Friday, and then I, on Friday I went home early because I said, hey, I'm, I'm feeling kind of bad, I think I caught a cold. So I went home a little bit before 5, which is normal, which is acceptable. Um, I didn't really have a fever around Saturday. I said, oh hey, I, when I woke up, I have a locked jaw. It feels like it hurts a lot. Around Sunday, it's the same thing. I said, we're starting to get like a, a light, a, a low grade fever. And then on Monday, I had a low grade fever. And then when I woke up and looked in the mirror, the right side of my jaw was swollen. <laughs> and then. And then it just got bigger for like the next three to five days, I think. <laughs> and then I I had a constant low grade fever for approximately three to four days, and then it broke, which was good. And I just had to wait for the the lump to slowly get smaller. And then two days ago, I got another slight low grade fever, which is like, was like, oh no, I hope it's not happening again. Which it didn't, thankfully. The left side didn't grow anymore, so that's good. I can go back to work. So now I'm, I'm in the let's not infect other people 
a zone, so I'm just here at home. I have been working from my computer though in the first couple of days, like when I had a low grade fever. I spent a lot of time sleeping, I was really tired, and I felt like there's no energy in my limbs. And it really sucks. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good that I got it, but it's also slightly embarrassing and funny that I only got it now. I'm 24 years old. Usually, kids from ages, I don't know, 6 to 10 to 12 get this. <laughs> and I haven't got it. I don't think I've gotten chicken fox yet either. I may have gotten the measles already in high school, but it was really, really faint. Like, it only took me one week to recover from that. I haven't had German measles either, but from what I heard, that's not super common anyway. But yeah, <laughs> I'm one of those people that. <laughs> So I haven't been able to go to work, I haven't been able to leave the house, I have been quarantined in the house. Thankfully, all of my family members, who are normal human beings, <laughs> um, got theirs and they were a lot younger, so they had no chance of getting infected again. But if I had gone somewhere where there were little kids, um, as Google had, um, states, it's extremely contagious. <laughs> so I... I was just here. I was playing with, well, I mean, what I, what I have been doing in my time, I've been playing Fate Grand Order, um, I've been working a little bit, well, I've been, I've been working a decent amount, not super hardcore, but I've been working. Um, I got back into playing The Sims because I saw that the Get Famous pack was out. I did not draw, <laughs> unfortunately. What else did I do? Man, I've been, I've been a lazy sedentary potato. Dang it. <laughs> what else did I do? Well, now I'm doing the laundry. I'm also cleaning my room. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm camming on my last two days to draw. Amazing. Woo <sighs> Even during my vacation leave, I was like this. I said, hey, I should... Um, Take this time to draw because drawing is my way of dealing with burnout and stress. I did draw. I mean, I got three, four pieces out and I didn't do anything. I didn't do any other drawing after that. And then I said, okay, well, we're sick. Let's play games and let's draw. I have not drawn at all. <laughs> Woo. It's a good thing my New Year's resolution resolution does not include anything that relates to drawing because I mean it does include but I mean I didn't make any commitments to myself to draw more because man I would have failed so fast <laughs> what are my resolutions I said like oh yeah so my resolution is like just saying oh um apparently it has a lot to do with drawing but it's not like output related I mean it's it's not like amount related it's more of do this more or do that more um just forcing myself to push my boundaries so yeah i might talk about my new year's resolution somewhere it's a bit late it's about to be valentine's <gasps> let's see when's my next video coming out this coming out 19. i have one weekend one weekend to talk about my new year's resolution well and then it'll be Feb the 9th. <laughs> Dang, time, fl time flies so quickly. Dang it. And I spent the first two weeks of my new year with a monk. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the drawing real quick. So, as you saw earlier, um, I did more of a lineless type of thing first, but I am going with line art a while ago. Um, the thing with these lineless type of drawings, I tend to do a lot of layers a lot more. So I would usually put down the base, a very light base color first, and like slowly build in the shadows. Like it takes two or three, sometimes four, 
layers of shadows and lights to get the thing perfect. And that's the thing with this with these stylus drawings because I feel like it's a lot more mm, intricate than a line drawing. Because well, for me, I mean, in my style at least. Because in my style, when there's a lot of lines or if there's line work, I tend to rely on it a lot to create the finish on and shadow and all of that. But when it's lineless, I tend to be more careful with my lights and shadows and definition. So, um, it tends to be a bit more quote unquote intricate or complex than my line drawings. Um, the only thing, I mean, the thing that I'm kind of disappointed about with this drawing is the background. Uh, when I when I thought about this drawing, it is just I wanted to look at a dark background but it's really vague and then I didn't really think of it when I was doing the thumbnails either so by the time I got to this point it was just like oh I don't know what to do let's do some swirly stuff which uh, is not particularly interesting I mean it kind of highlights the characters a little bit more since the, the, their outfits are fairly lighter but it doesn't provide a lot of contrast to the characters itself. So I kind of wanted to redo this piece at first. Like when I when I finished it, I was so disappointed about it. And I let it rest for a couple of days. And then when I scanned it, um, I saw it again as I thought it's not too bad. It's not my absolute best. I could step it up a lot more, but it's not too bad. I mean I can just try again next time. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope 2019 has been well for you guys. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you around. Yeah.